welcome on my channel this is tarot love reading this is a reading for collective and this is also pick a card reading this is timeless so whenever you click this video it's going to resonate with you with your love situation beside main story for collective we have also pick a card pile number one for twin flames pile number two for soulmates and pile number three is a known pile for those of you who feel lost if you are not sure where you're standing with this person who is this is this is your soulmate twin flame if you're not sure who is this maybe this is karmic person so choose pile number three so maybe you're gonna get some clarity some guidance there for you so this is fourth part of the video we are continuing with pile number three if you want to watch reading for collective please watch first link of the video and if you want to choose pile number one or pile number two there is uh, also links in the description for that also pile number three is starting on the link number three so let's continue now with pile number three and thank you so much for supporting my channel thank you so much for subscribing sharing and liking my videos thank you so much please like this video to invite positive energy and to receive positive energy from me so pile number three what is important for this connection for this connection is very important trust this person have some serious intentions for you but i'm seeing here that there is misunderstanding between two of you there is religious factors but what is um, you know issues here i mean why I say issues like um it's not issue you know it is beautiful to see uh, people connecting from different religions but something is missing here like like maybe two of you have some misunderstandings and you have to work on that maybe because of that misunderstanding you lost trust in this person you are afraid to trust to this person but for this person, trust is very important. Uh, this person can be connected, uh, like I said in a previous part of the video, I said that this person can be connected with water. Um, strongly, there is a water sign, water element. You can have water element in your chart, connection with moon. You know, there is there will be some transformation. Maybe this person want to change. Uh, because this person in the past was player this person in the past uh, you know was doing some things you know maybe some things what you don't like about them past and they would like to move on from that past they they say um what was in the past it past it is in the past uh, they afraid of your judgment and uh, maybe this person trying to show you that that there's somebody else but you know something is still missing here you 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 afraid of this person like you afraid that uh, this person may be just acting that they're still player uh, with this card uh, where, where we see uh, you know four people uh, partying having great time you're afraid of that maybe because this is how you met this person this was maybe um, friends mutual friends and you know what type of person this is and you are afraid like how this person can change this person maybe uh want to to gain my trust you know but how can i accept this person how can i trust to this person because i know who they who they was and and with who they were you know like these friends this environment wherever they was you can forget that like you already know that this is like a player type and you afraid to trust but this person can be you know serious even this person is a fire sign and there is some codependent relationship what you have with this person you know or maybe they want to control you but uh, you don't like that you don't like if somebody controlling you uh, somebody resisting to something uh, there is letter m maybe you are connected with this letter maybe you your name start uh, with letter m uh, this can be also uh, like for some of you this can be offered from masculine but you have been rejecting because you was thinking that this is your karmic person 
But maybe for many of you, this is your twin flame, this is your masculine and your divine feminine. But you was rejecting this connection because you was in love to somebody who had been left already. You know, somebody was there in your life. You know, for some of you, yes, for some of you, you can be in third party. And this person maybe was in third party. Both of you have some uh, partners on the side. This is why there is, you know, two couples. They all know each other. This is for some of you. You're confused. You don't know where this is going because this chariot is in reverse. It is difficult to, to see clearly, but we will try. Okay, we will try. I'm going to shuffle cards for you again. So let's see what else we have here for you. Pile number three. So trust is very important. You have to work on trust. And to understand from what type of mentality this person coming, uh, traditions, you know, this person can be from another religion. So you have to understand that. You have to see things from their perspective. Oh my God, too many cards fell down. Hmm. Maybe you were stressing this person. Number four. And number four. 22 and 22. So clearly, this is sign for you. On the clock, you can see 22 and 22. And uh, there is something connected with 44. For some of you, maybe this is number of your ages or this is 4th April. For some of you, maybe you're dealing with the Aries, Taurus, um, Capricorn. And uh, clearly, this man, if you're dealing with a man he is with another man they sitting together this is very interesting look this there is two men sitting right and also here you see there is table and two men sitting together and both of them have been in connections with somebody you see there is two females also on this card there is two couples but there you can see they sitting alone so what's going on did they challenge themselves somebody was challenging somebody on something maybe what i'm getting here is that these two fell in love in same feminine in same woman and then they have been challenged each other and one of them getting your attention one of them getting your messages your calls another in another one you ignoring something like that this is for some of you this is how you're going to recognize who is this so you are dealing here with your twin flame and with your karmic person this is not soulmate connection this is what I want to say. So there is karmic connection and fin flame connection. This is why you are confused. This is why you're choosing pile number three. Because you're lost. You're lost. There is two different energies. Two different people. One is connected with you. With soul. Because it's the same soul. You can feel that person two of you are totally one but another person is something else you can't figure out that let's see is there something else this numbers can be very important 22 and 22 44 zero, 04 zero, 04 on your clock you wake up in 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 form for uh, i am you understand you wake up in morning in four o'clock for some of you Number 11, 11 and 11, you see this? Do you see this? So clearly you can see these numbers, 22 and 22, 0404, 04, 0101, 01, 11 and 11 on your clock. Yes. 
you have been met some fool. <laughs> you see this? This was codependent relationship. Maybe you was in some thin plane connection and uh, and this person had been left with this chariot in the reverse where it is. Yes. This fool. This can be Pisces, Sagittarius, Taurus. Something like that. This person was catching your attention. This person was crazy in love with you. But because of some reason they are not in your life. You have challenged. God put you on the test. You have challenged now. They have challenged. They want to conquer your heart. But you are also in challenge. You know. Which one is for you? Which one you will choose? This one or that one? You see this? This one or that one? You have to choose one of these people. And this chariot leading you maybe in the wrong direction right now. So you have to be careful to who you giving your time. Where you focusing yourself. Maybe you should isolate yourself a little bit and think carefully about everything. Because if this person taking time, if this person ignoring you, if your twin flame ignoring you, if they have been walk away from this connection, then take a time and think about everything. Don't rush, uh, you know, to hands of other person. You know, you don't, don't jump in some rebound relationship. Don't go somewhere else. Uh, don't afraid to be alone. If you have to be alone, you know, some time, then take that time and focus on yourself. You know, you will get all answers. You will be able to, to, to think clearly, to get clarity, you know. Don't just, you know, jump in something else if you're not sure what is that. You know, some stories can mislead you somewhere because many things happen for you quickly. Just just take a time. Just take a time. And if you're dealing with this narcissistic person, if you have been watching first part of the video, if you're dealing with some narcissistic person, egoistic person who is stubborn, who ghosting you, ignoring you, there is no contact, maybe they are in third party situation, then don't jump in any connection, in any conclusions, just wait. You got signs, God showing you signs, you know, and that means that you're going to get awakening soon. Probably you are divine feminine. You will see where you truly standing with who and where and what will happen next. You will get all answers. Just, just to wait a bit. Don't rush in anything. If you don't trust to somebody, nobody force you to trust to somebody. Just take a time. Take a time. Okay. Pile number three. Take a time. Don't rush in anything. Work on the trust. If you can trust this person, you know, then there's no worry for you. Doesn't matter who is this. Is this your twin flame soulmate, karmic person? But if you can trust, if you feel that they cannot hurt you, then all will be fine. But if you have some doubts, if you can't trust to this person, then don't go in that direction. You don't have to be with somebody on force. Because soon separation will be over. Soon this person will be, you know, reunited with you in 3D. So two of you will be together physically. Okay? Some people... They don't know what is that, what is 5D or 3D. They keep asking me that on my email. I mean, um, with this person, with this person, there is 5D, spiritual connection. You are connected with this person. But now you will be also connected with this person in 3D. Physically, you know, physically. They will be with you and before they come back you have to make decision because some of you maybe you don't trust me you want this person but in same time if they are officially with you 
you know then you you maybe will be in panic because you're not sure like like you see there is chariot two times there is chariot in upright position and in reverse so like something is going you know faster slower faster slower but why is energy like this because when they want to rush when they want to do something fast then you say okay wait wait slow down slow down you know when you want to rush things then they say oh let's slow down you know like something like this is going on something is still not matching here with energies and for that time you don't need to rush anything nobody need to force you on anything you can just take time and and work on the trust so strongly this person whenever you think about this person you see these numbers 11 and 11 22 22 04 04 there is fire sign sagittarius aries leo but in most this is sagittarius there is water sign in this reading cancer pisces scorpio somebody was in drinking problems they may be quit with drinking you know they quit with alcohol they was in many challenges they was uh, you know they was protecting something you know like i'm fine i have no problems i have no issues but this person have many issues many issues many people was attacking this person saying you're fall for everything you done this you done that but this person always saying no i didn't done anything you know, I don't regret for anything what I've done. They was resisting to accept the truth. There is number 5, number 11, number 2, number 7. These numbers can be connected with the life path number of your person. Strongly Scorpio here, water sign in this reading. They can have Scorpio in moon. Scorpio in moon, yes. Or Libra in moon. Even Aquarius in Moon. In Sun, this can be Sagittarius, um, Pisces. But even that Pisces can have uh, five signs somewhere in the in the chart. Yes. So there is challenge for you. You have two options, pile three. So how things are standing? If you focusing, you know, on two different people, then of course you're gonna be lost. You know, you, you can't juggle. You know, you can't juggle. You have to choose one. You have to choose one. So the message for pile number three is choose one. Focus on one. If you can't trust to somebody, if you scared of somebody, then that's that is your intuition saying to you that that person is not right for you that is not right person for you if you have no reason to have any fears any doubts if you can trust to this person then then focus on that person give time if there's something that you have to clear uh, with them clear it because there is many misunderstanding because both of you can be from different religion somebody want something with you and they have you know like romantic intentions but there is different religion there is too many misunderstandings there is people who have been challenging each other maybe they talk with each other and you don't know about that so clearly there is some karmic connection uh for some of you maybe you're gonna say this is your fake twin flame and there is another person who is maybe your real twin flame, but you was thinking that that person is your karmic person. You know, you was attracted to this person physically, you know, physically. But toward another person, you was feel some type of rejection. Maybe you didn't was attracted enough physically, but now you feel that there is some spiritual connection between two of you. So pile number three, pile number three, just take a time, don't rush in anything and think carefully, analyze everything to who you can trust, who is right one for you. 
Trust your intuition. Trust to God. God will lead you in the right direction. And do not afraid of that. Don't ever doubt in God. What your heart is saying to you, what your soul is saying to you, what your intuition is saying to you, that is right decision. Trust to yourself. Trust to God. If you need extended reading, you can contact me on my email. I will be so glad to help you and to guide you in the right direction. And see you next time. Bye.